Sup you guys, what is up, and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another story time. Uh, you guys will probably be getting used to these, or sick of them, who knows? But today's video is another story, uh, this, this time it's from high school, and it's, it's, a, it's a sporting story, but it's, it's a life's lesson. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's a life's lesson, it's, it's just a funny story. It's a really funny story, it's, it's a way that coaches can use a bit of psychology you know, for younger players to, to just to sort of get a bit of a, I guess it's a, it's a drill, it's a practice technique that coaches can use, I guess, uh, to, to assess where their players are at psych psychologically. <laughs> you could say, like, honestly, it just makes me laugh thinking about it. Oh man, I don't even know, yeah, I don't know if there are any lessons to be learned <laughs> from this, apart from practice your fucking free throws okay practice your free throws if you're playing you know if you're playing a game of rugby practice your passes practice your one practice your you know your five percenters you know, your, your base skills first you know you know you know you're no good being able to do a well let's let's go back to basketball you're no good being able to do a being able to do a slip and slide to a fucking between the legs up to a 360 alley-oop off the backboard 360 dunk okay you can't if you can't fucking pass the ball properly there's no point in doing that because passing is an integral part of the game so if we're talking about rugby once again there's no point in being able to do all this flashy shit without being able to do the fundamentals which is tackle kick and pass so let's go back to basketball for a second here we are okay i make the uh the 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 senior boys team very very successful basketball team the, the probably the most successful sports team i've been a part of ever we went undefeated in the regular season in christchurch we went to nationals i think we came 17th uh, i went up to auckland with the team we played in the national tournament uh, the best high schools in the country um, some tall timber i was about six foot tall at that point playing power forward um, up against guys that were six foot six okay no didn't work very well I was the size of a point guard, but I didn't have the handles of a point guard. Anyways, and I also didn't have the free throws of a point guard. So, let me think back. Um, there was a funny as drill. It's crack up, bro. And it just tests. It, it, it just, it, it, can, it just, oh, I can't even explain it. It's, you know, you're either on a good, you're either on the good side of it or the bad side of it. And I, unfortunately, was on, I guess, the bad side of it. So, what happens is, the team lines up. Okay, one person goes up to take a free throw. Right? Each person gets two free throws, just like you're fouled. You go to the foul line, you take your two free throws, okay? So let's say I get the ball, I get the free throws. I go to the free throw line. Okay, first thing is I'm shooting in front of absolutely everybody. Everybody's watching, all good. Before you shoot, the coach asks, okay guys, right, we've got Jacob McDonald on the line. I think I was sitting at about 40% as far as free throws go in the game. So yeah, worse than Shaq. Um, no excuses, just never practice them really. So anyways, I go up to the line, the coach says, just like everyone else, alright guys, if you think he's going to make this shot, stand to the left. If you think he's going to miss this shot, stand to the right. Now, after they do that, <laughs> the next part's crucial. Okay, the coach then says, okay, so if you're correct in your prediction, you get to stay here. If you're wrong in your prediction, you have to run a suicide. Okay, so what that means is that even if he's your friend, even if you're just trying to make him feel good, you don't want to run that suicide. So, you know, that is really gonna, it's really gonna, you know, answer, it, it, it basically creates a very, 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 very honest answer. And guys, I don't need to tell you what happened. The whole entire team went to the side that said, no, he's not going to get it. <laughs> and I missed. I missed, okay? Of course I did. You don't know how much I wanted to get that shot just to, just to see them run. But I knew it. I knew exactly. I knew, <laughs> I knew it. I literally knew it. There were guys on that team that were hitting 90%, 80%. Like, you'd, you'd expect them to get it. The, the, the free throw action was just so sweet. Those guys, of course, you'd expect them to get it. If they missed it, well, it's a suicide every now and then. But for me, oh God, they used to love to give me shit about the way that I lined up for my free throws. What my knees would do in the action of bending down and then coming back up for the shot. Apparently, my knees would go inward. <laughs> and they'd give me so much shit for it. And I'd be like, what are you talking about? My knees are straight. 
And then I'd go and do a shot and lo and behold my knees would go inward for some reason. So it looked just crack up on the line and I'd always miss and you know that was what a funny story. But the, the best part of the story guys is you know I did have the last laugh on that particular day. We did this drill all the time. It's a great drill you can always do it. I'm sure you can do it for different skills not just shooting for a you know a, a basket you can do it for soccer with goals. Um, you know, rugby with kicks through a goal or anything. Tackling, one on one tackling. If you get this tackle, will he tackle this guy? If you think he will, stand this side. If you don't think he will, stand that side. If he misses it and you thought he was going to get it, you have to run a length, blah, blah, blah. It's a fantastic, it's a fantastic little drill to include in sports. And, uh, well, I experienced the, 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 the worst and the best of it because, because uh, you know, I'm happy to say. That when the ball was passed back to me for my second of two free throws, um, <laughs> they all stayed on the no side and I sunk it. I sunk the fucking thing and a, a roar of laughter obviously, you know, went around. Everyone ran the suicide. I think I even ran the suicide just for the hell of it. And, uh, you know, I got one of two. And <laughs> Oh, it just makes you laugh, doesn't it? It really does. You know, basketball, I'd always wanted to be in the A-team, you know. Even from age 13, 14, 15, going through third, fourth and fifth form, I always wanted to be in the A-team, but I always made the B-team. And then when it finally came to, be, to playing seniors in sixth form, I trained hard throughout that off-season. I trained hard so I could go to the school trials and try and walk on and become, for the first time, a member of the Kashmir High School Boys A-team knowing that they played on Saturdays, knowing that they played in this, you know, inter-school comp, and knowing that all going well, you might get a spot to go to nationals, and it all went really well. I can vividly remember my best game was 20 points against Aranui. Uh, I probably averaged about 4 points a game, probably about 10 minutes a game, uh, but that game, I think it was a bit of a blowout, they gave me a lot of minutes, um, I even took a 3, I took a 3 on a fast break, <laughs> I got a fast break and I pulled up for a three and I sunk it. Bro, that day, that day I'll never forget. Um, Kashmir vs. Aranui, 2007 at QE2. And, uh, oh man, even thinking like, even thinking back, like the warm ups, you know, warm ups for a game of rugby is cool, but warm ups for a game of basketball is the best. That is so much fun. So much fun going out for layups. Anyone that can dunk in the team, you know, starts. You know, when you're, when you're on the court, that team's down there, you're down here, you're warming up. Anyone that can dunk will. And, uh, you know, people start getting up, you start getting around your teammates, you start getting amped. Um, at the end of the day, I'd always start on the bench. But basketball days, bro, are my, you know, some of my fondest memories alongside rugby days, alongside soccer days. And, uh, you know, it's these, it's these moments that, you'll remember for the rest of your life. So I don't know what you're gonna take from this video, but what a crack up, what a crack up drill to have, you know what I mean? It really gets an honest answer out of your players. And I guess the title of this video is gonna be something, something about honesty, something about, this is the way to get, you know, true honesty from your players, something like that. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah. One like equals one prayer. Um, I do still love to shoot around the basketball, but I don't think I'll ever play competitive basketball again in my life. But I can still dunk. And that makes me feel pretty good. So with all that being said, guys, have a fantastic day. I wish you the best, and peace out. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me. Wow. Please don't be wasting my time with that business